Yo, what's up, you guys? Barry Barbell here to help you develop the strength and nutrition habits for a life well lived. And today, I want to talk to you about when and why you should train fasted. So, I've been training fasted for a few years now, and it's actually been working pretty well for me. So, I just want to maybe share you guys a few of my insights about training fasted, so you can make a better decision about when is when it's appropriate for you if you decide to do it. Okay, so in case you don't know, training fasted, it, it involves doing exercise without consuming any calories beforehand, right? So you skip breakfast or lunch or whatever, and you just go in the gym and train. What this does is it teaches your body to use its fat as fuel rather than whatever recent meals, whatever recent carbs you got from your most recent meal. So as a result, your body gets better at burning fats. You end up burning more fat from your exercise as a result of training fasted. So there are a few benefits of training fasted. The first one, like I mentioned, is that you increase the amount of fat that you burn because you're not using whatever recent meal to, to burn calories. You're using your stored fat. Number two is you improve your insulin sensitivity. So if you're a person who... Uh, is diabetic, suffering from type 2 diabetes, then this could be a way to increase your insulin sensitivity as training fasted will teach your body to better process the glucose. Whenever you do eat, it'll teach your body to process that glucose more efficiently. Number three, third benefit is that it, training fasted helps you produce more growth hormone. So there have been studies that suggest that your growth hormone levels are highest in the morning, which would make that the ideal time to train fa fasted. And number four, mental clarity. A lot of people report feeling more focused and alert when they're fasted. I think that comes from an evolutionary psychology thing where like uh, people say that when you're hungry, like we, we adapt, we evolve from hunters and gatherers, right? So when we're hungry, we had to focus on the hunt so that we could actually eat. And so when you train fasted, it's like you replicating that that hunter the hunter mindset while you're in a civilized context, right, within the gym. All right, so those are the benefits, four benefits. Let's talk about the drawbacks. There's reduced intensity. There can be reduced intensity because – uh, a lot of people say that if they're not, if they don't have any calories, they can't train as hard, which makes sense. You do run the risk of losing muscle too. So if you're not eating enough after your training session, then you do run the risk of losing muscle, especially if you're not consuming enough protein. And then of course there's the hunger, right? Like you're going to feel hungry if you're training fasted. It's just natural. So those are the drawbacks. Now you know the benefits, now you know the drawbacks. You can hopefully make a better decision about if training fasted is right for you. Like if you can deal with the hunger, if you can train hard regardless of how you feel, and if you're looking for the extra benefit of losing extra body fat from your training without really having to do too much else, without really having to change your diet at all, then yeah, training fasted might be for you. So... You guys do your own research. I say give it a, if you're going to try it, do it for like a month or so just to see how it works for you. It'll take your body some time to adapt. It'll definitely take your mind some time to adapt because a lot of people are just in the habit of eating as soon as they wake up. So you're going to have to like train yourself to break that habit. And that could, that takes an adjustment period. So I say like give yourself a solid month of trying it out before you, before you write it off. It's just another gimmick. And yeah, see see what kind of results you get from it. That's the whole thing. If you approach your weight training like a scientist where you're just trying stuff to see if it works and then you take what works and then you leave what doesn't, then your whole fitness journey will be that much better for it. So approach it like a scientist. Do the work. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Subscribe to the channel. Check out my links down below if you want to check out my blog or subscribe to the email list. Barry Barbell, helping you develop the strength and nutrition habits for a life well lived. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.